Hello everybody, this is Ethan with Wisecrack Studios, and today I wanted to go over a nifty little tool that's available to you in Logic that can help you out anytime that you need to change the key to a song. Now I recommend only doing this with instrumental tracks. As you can see, I pulled up a couple of instrumental tracks. I went ahead and I redid the mix for these songs without any vocal at all. You'll understand in a minute whenever I'm doing this, but if you have a vocal in here, it's going to sound really bad at the end of this. So what am I doing? Right now, I've pulled up an instrumental for a song that's already been released years and years ago, but let's say that I wanted to come back and re-record this song with a new singer, but they may not be able to sing it in the original key. Well, something that we can do is we can go over and grab this, bring up this screen right here. The keyboard command for this is E, but you can also just come over to this pair of scissors and just click on them like that. And then you go over to where it says file. Now, I heavily suggest that any time you're going to go over to this little file area, you be very certain of what you're doing because anything that you do here is going to be editing the actual file. If I go in up here and I go ahead and Let's say I put it there, I hit Command T to cut everything before that point and I get rid of that. I can still come through, grab it, and bring it all back. That's just editing, that's not messing with the file. This is gonna mess with the file. So, with that in mind, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to Functions, grab the Time and Pitch Machine, and I'm going to go ahead and transpose this whole thing. Now, let's say I only want it to go up one half step. I'm going to go ahead and grab it and bring it up 100 cents. That is going to be one semitone or a half step. If you need it to go down, it's just negative 100. But in my case, I want it to go up. So there we go. I've noticed that this trick works a lot better making things go up in pitch than down in pitch. So with that in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and hit process and paste, and we'll go ahead and fast forward to whenever this is done. And now that that's all done, let's go ahead and listen to the original versus the new one. As you can hear, that's not a perfect copy. It's not like if it were tape and I just made it roll a little bit faster. You can kind of hear it on the snare drum that the sound just breaks up a little bit differently than it's supposed to. Overall, it's not really something that people would notice for the most part. They might think it's just a little bit off for some reason, but they might chalk it up more to it being the fact that it's in a different key as opposed to the file itself being a little bit off. And this is very different from if you were to use the built-in Logic plugin for pitch correction. I already have it saved up here. Because if you were to do the same thing, but this, it would work a little bit more like this. And I'm not a huge fan of this plugin for this reason. As opposed to this again. This is a nice little trick for any moment where you just need the instrumental to be in a higher pitch. Let's say that you have someone that wants to come in, uh, sing a cover of the song, or maybe you're at a party and everybody wants to do karaoke. Suddenly you have the ability to change the pitch of the song so that they can just come in, sing it, 
Nobody's going to care that the guitars sound a little bit off on the farthest ends of the stereo. It's just going to be nice, it'll be quick, and you never have to worry about it again, because as long as you have this original file, you have the original file. You never have to save this one. This is a completely different file that I went ahead and recopied just so that I would be able to have this, and if I don't like it, I'll delete it. Now, I need to make sure that I reiterate again, this is a completely different file that whenever I save and leave, that file is going to be exactly like this. This one is going to stay the way that it was, but this one has been changed permanently. Even if I go through and I change the pitch back using the pitch machine again, it's going to still be a little bit off compared to the original because there's going to be a little bit, there's going to be a little bit of the little digital artifacts from changing it and then changing it back. So if you ever do this, make sure that you're doing a copy of the original file and you have the original file saved somewhere else so that you don't accidentally write over your original file and make it not as good as it could be. And if you do have the chance to be able to just go through and record the song again, honestly, I would recommend just recording the song again, especially if you're going up in pitch compared to down in pitch. For most instruments, it's a lot easier to go up in pitch compared to down in pitch. Most instruments have their highest that they can go to. That can be a little bit more relative depending on the player, but the lowest that they can go to is almost universal, especially for a guitar or a bass guitar. The only way to make it go lower would be to tune the strings lower. And once you get low enough, you're not getting a sound out of them. But in any moment where you can use this, feel free to use this. And hopefully I've given you something that you can work with in the future. As for me, this has been Ethan with Wisecrack Studios, and I hope that you have a lovely day.